So you want to get just enough items in Minecraft 1.18.2 and while it would be funny if that meant just enough items to like build something, it actually means this mod here. Just enough items allows you to easily see crafting recipes in Minecraft by searching them right in your inventory, selecting them, and you can even quickly add them to a crafting table. Overall, this is a really, really cool mod and a must-use mod when you're using a bunch of other mods. For example, if you're using something like Tinker's Construct, there's so much in that mod that uh, it's impossible to know how to craft everything. That's where Just Enough Items comes in. With Just Enough Items, you can search what you're looking for in Tinker's Construct, click on it, and learn the crafting recipe right there in Minecraft. No Googling, no remembering, Just Enough Items takes care of it for you. And that's why this is one of the most popular Minecraft mods of all time. Before we get it installed, though, we have a mess from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love it just Apex so much that we all start our own server. Play it on breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to start your own server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Now, let's just go ahead and get Just Enough Items up and running in Minecraft. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below. That's actually going to take you to our text tutorial for Just Enough Items. This kind of walks you through the basics. However, once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Just Enough Items button to be taken to the official Just Enough Items download page. Then come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.18 section. And then we want to make sure we're downloading JEI 1.18.2. As we can see here, this is currently in beta. That's what B means. Green R means it's in release. Now, if yours is green, like it's an R, that's great. But you don't want to make sure that it says JEI 1.18.2 and then click the orange download button to the right of it. After a few seconds, the download will begin and you may need to keep or save this file depending on your browser. So in the bottom left, keep it or save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, with just enough items downloaded, you're not quite finished. You still need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows just enough items to work in Minecraft. So what we want to do is go to the third link down below and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting Forge. However, we're going to be going through the basics in this video. Should you have issues though, come to this tutorial because it goes through a lot more specifics on installing Forge than we are going to here because our main goal is getting just enough items, not Forge. Nonetheless, once you're on our website, we can come here and click on the green Download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. We want to make sure that Minecraft 1.18.2 is selected there, and if it is, go ahead and click Installer. If it's not, you can select it on the left-hand side, and once you see MC 1.18.2 here, come or download latest and click on the installer here. That will then take you off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Put your hands in the air. Do not click a single thing on this page at all. Just wait about 10 seconds and then in the top right, you will have a red skip button appear. So after about 10 seconds in the top right, a red skip button appears. Click that and in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading, specifically Forge 1.18.2, and you may need to keep this in the bottom left or save it in the center screen on Mozilla Firefox. Again, 100% safe to do that as long as it has Forge in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser though, and when we do that, we want to go ahead and get Forge and just enough items on our desktop. Do this by clicking the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or the center of your screen on Windows 11. And then go ahead and type in Downloads. You have this Downloads file folder here. Open this up, and in here you will find, look at that, Forge and Just Enough Items. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. Now, if your icons look different than mine, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to work on that and fix it here in a second. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, right-click on Forge, click on Open With click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I didn't have Java there or my icons are broken. Well, if anything other than Mod System Installer opened here, and what I mean by that is you couldn't open up Mod System Installer for any reason, guess what? One solution fixes it all and that's Java. Java 17 specifically is required for Minecraft mods and just enough items being a Minecraft mod to be installed. It's specifically needed for the mod loader Forge to be able to work. So nevertheless, come here, go through our simple download process for getting Java. It goes through everything you need to know to get Java 17. Now for most of you, you'll then be able to open up Forge, but some of you may need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. What's great about that is it's going to take the those icons, those broken files on your desktop, right? If these don't look like mine, and it's going to fix those. But you need to install Java first. If you run the jar fix without Java, it's not going to work. You need Java first. Now, thus, we can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. So, you're going to open up the mod system install for Forge, where all you need to do is click on Install Client and click OK. So, you're going to download, install, and work basically installing Minecraft.
Minecraft Forge in 1.18.2. The only reason this won't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.18.2. So if that's the case, go play it. And then once you've gotten in-game, like, to the main menu on Minecraft 1.18.2, close out of it, close out of the Minecraft launcher, and then come and reinstall, and you'll get this message. Successful install, Client Profile Forge. Awesome. We can click OK and delete Forge from our desktop. Now it's time to get just enough items installed. Do this by opening up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we open the Minecraft launcher here, we want to make sure that our Forge profile is selected. Now for some of you, it will be automatically selected, right? So as you can see, Forge is automatically selected for me. But if it's not for you, click the little arrow here next to the play button and select Forge here. Now as long as it has 1.18.2-Forge under it, you're going to click play and click play again. But if it doesn't have 1.18.2, or if you don't have Forge in this list at all, come up here to installations. Then you want to go ahead and click modded on the right hand side here and make sure that is checked as you can see if modded is unchecked forge disappears so a lot of you might check modded and boom there's forge it says 1.18.2 under it you're going to get click play and click play again but for some of you you still won't have forge or the correct version of forge 1.18.2 and to fix that go ahead and click on new installations here then you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com however you can name this whatever you want it is up to you the reason i named it that is because that is our own incredible 1.18.2 grief protected server Survival and Skyblock server. It truly is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, so come play on it, play.breakdowncraft.com. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box. And the most important thing here is selecting 1.18.2 Forge. Right here it is for me at the top. You may have to scroll down a ways to find yours. Once that's selected, though, you can go ahead and click create, but I'm going to change our resolution so we can see once we get in game. Click create in the bottom right, and then we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.2 Forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge. This can take a few minutes, so I'm going to do a quick jump cut here, but just know the hard part is over. Just enough items is installed. The hard part's done at this point. It is super simple to get this mod set up and running. So I guess it's not installed yet, but like the hard part of installing it is done. I'll meet you on the main menu. And by the way, this is normal if it just takes a while to open up and there it is. So here we are loading into the Minecraft main menu and you'll notice right away Forge is in beta. That is a, something to note that if you do have any issues with just enough items, most likely it's because Forge is in beta. Nevertheless, once we're here, let's go ahead and click on the mods tab from the main menu. And then we want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on mod and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. That's gonna, as the name implies, open up the mods folder. Now, all you need to do is drag and drop just enough items from your desktop into this mods folder here. When you do that, come back to Minecraft, just enough items is in here and it's never gonna be here until you click done and quit game. Then you wanna open up the Minecraft launcher again, again, making sure you're playing your Forge profile, either the one you created or the one that was there by default. It doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure that you're opening up Minecraft with Forge, click play, click play again, and and now Minecraft is going to open up with just enough items installed. If there's any freezing, if there's any like it says it's not responding, anything like that happens, that's perfectly normal. Just sit back, wait, and let it install. That is part of installing modded Minecraft or running modded Minecraft. So just sit back and wait. As you can see here, it says not responding, says all these issues. It's fine. It loads right on up. So that's the one thing I like to mention there, because a lot of people will freak out about that. It's perfectly normal. Nothing is happening. You're good to go. Well, I guess something is happening. Just enough items is installing, but the fact it's not responding is okay. And as we click on mods here, we can see there is just enough items. And most importantly, as we jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, we will be able to see here that just enough items is working. There it is on the left-hand side. You can see all the different stuff you can craft and make. For example, how do we make ender pearls? Well, you can't. But how do you make blaze rods? You can't. How do you make golden nuggets? There we go. We can break those down from golden ingots. How do we make those? That's how. How do we make a golden block? That's how. You can kind of see how all of this works now. Now, cauldron, for example, how do you make that? There you go. A brewing stand. There you go. All looks good, and that's how you can get just enough items in 1.18.2. If you open this up, by the way, in a crafting table, you can actually click a plus button here, and it will add those, if they're in your inventory, the items into the crafting table to work. It's, it's really, really incredible. Anyway, my name is Nick. You now know how to get just enough items in Minecraft 1.18.2. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe, and come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. It truly is incredible. We're on medieval survival right now, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we can't wait to see you online. Nevertheless, I'm Nick, and I'm out. Peace.